I'd like to thank the great folks over at PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Got a brilliant idea and want to bring it to life? Introducing PCB Way's cutting edge 3D printing service. Just upload your CAD files, choose your measurement types, choose the type of material which ranges from regular known plastics to resin to several types of metals. Need it fast, experience rapid turnaround time with PCB Way's efficient 3D printing service. All right, welcome back y'all. Um, so I'm creating a new rotor. This guy's got four bar magnets that are, I think, two inches. Two inches by a half inch square. And I'm, and I made a connector. I have a bigger stepper motor. I'm going to use it to drive the stepper motor to see what kind of power. Because stepper motors make really good generators. You just have to isolate the wires correctly. This is a six pin stepper motor. I have a four pin one. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's in the house. So I'm going to, I have to rig something up for that. I'm also going to revisit the opto circuit with the big Newman motor to make sure I didn't blow the circuit because I think I might have heard it. But yeah, I'm going to get this guy together. I put this on there just for support. And it turns out I really don't need it because I'm going to run the step. This is going to sit on the stepper motor like this. I mean, not this stepper motor, not exactly like that. I, I made a adapter that should fit. And stepper motors are kind of hard to turn, so I'm not really sure if it's going to work. But we're going to give it a try, so stay tuned. Yeah, so it's going to be like that. And I I printed it out pretty exact. So these are nice, tight fit. And there's no play. And when I put this on and I press it down, it's completely flat. So that's cool. But I did put four holes in here so that I can put screws in. I have those little brass screws I can use. Yeah, so let me get going and get it together. Stay tuned. All right, so I've got this rotor, this new rotor set up. And it's on a um, stepper motor. And there's been some question on whether the circuits I'm using, and I'm not using a Bedini circuit. I'm using Sky Collection's JL94 circuit and two coils on either side. So it's a dual circuit. Whether that circuit would be able to actually turn this, whether it had enough torque. So I'm gonna, I need to print out a couple of stands for these two coils. And then we'll take it from there. Before I go ahead and wire everything up, I wanna make sure that it'll actually turn. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so I have to yield. You guys were right. I don't have enough torque. I tried a bunch of different circuits. I haven't tried different coils. These are smaller wire coils. I don't know that a bigger coil would, would make any difference. It, friends, it spins freely here, but just not enough. I just can't get enough oomph to get it going. So plan B is I don't know what plan B is. It's got to be a way I can get this going. I thought about doing it with um, magnetic coupling, but that would just be too much, I think. I could do it with some gears. I could set up some gears and gear it up or gear it down, however it's needed. There was one comment about making the arms longer to have more more it, it would it would give it more um of that flywheel like action give it more momentum that might work if i make the arms longer but yeah trying it like this i tried it with the jl94 circuit the dual circuit it was kind of go but not really i have i would turn it way up and that would just burn the circuit right out and of course, I tried it with some other circuits, like the Bedini circuit. That was that was a waste of time. Anyway, let me see what else I can do. Stay tuned. 
All right, so I wanted to make sure that it's, it would work. I knew it would work, but really what I wanted to do was make sure that I didn't burn out my circuit. Getting solid output, really nice. It's a good rotor. It's a little unbalanced. But I didn't burn my circuit out. Yeah, I kind of figured it wasn't going to work. I had a little bit of hope that it may work. I mean, what with the stepper motor. But, yeah, no. No go. You guys are absolutely right. That's got solid output. No blinking on my end. 2.9 volts. I still may try to do it now. I don't, I don't even think magnetic coupling will work. Yeah. All right. Let me try some other stuff here. Stay tuned. All right, here's one of K-Energy's Bedini circuits. Goes really good. A little bit of vibration there. The stand needs to be secured better. But it's going really well. Yeah, if I hold that. Yeah, this stand's not meant to be going so hard. All right, stay tuned. And that's redesigned 3DP's Bedini motor. It's really nice, I like it. I made some changes to it where I brought out the, the leads to the end here so it's easier for me to get to, but it's, it works really well. And he, he, he sells it with a big freaking LED. Yeah, that's actually really smooth. a nice circuit. Redesign 3DP. Go check it out. Also K-Energy. Both of those guys build and sell circuits. Oops. I'm sorry about that, guys. Yeah, once again, it's flickering for you guys, but for me, it's solid. And it has a nice potentiometer here. You can... And that turns off, has a little switch to turn off the, um, the load. You can hear it speed up when I turn off the load. Yeah, that's really nice. Not shaking at all. Really nice circuit, man. All right, stay tuned. I might as well get one of K-Energy's circuits in here, or his other circuit, which is the Hall sensor. This is a really nice circuit. It's a little choppy because the Hall circuit really energizes that coil, gets it rocking. I think it works better if I put it inside here or over here. Yeah, there it goes. All right, enough of that. Stay tuned. All right, so I wanted to try this new stand that I made with um, this Opto circuit from K Energy. It's a really good circuit. Um, and I couldn't figure out a good way to to mount the the um, the receiver here that has the the optical sensor in it I think I've got it though because this one can be adjusted up and down so let me get some power to it and see what happens stay tuned it works good you know I'm thinking maybe because this has a lot of torque this Newman motor optical circuit it's hitting it I've got to fix it and it was putting out what the hell happened oh did it touch maybe no it's still working I don't know why it's not putting anything out anyway I was thinking that this has a 
This has got pretty good torque. I might be able to get the, um, let me turn it off. I might be able to get the stepper motor attached to the shaft here. I don't know. I'll have to give it a, a thought. Stay tuned. I also got to fix the inside there because it's tapping the wall just ever so slightly. Works good. I like that opto circuit. Nothing to mess around with. All you got to do is turn it on and off. should be running silent let me fix that and bring you guys back stay tuned there it goes a little bit better not so much clicking noise as it should be yeah that's a powerful rotor in there that's got a lot of torque in in the sense that it has a lot of flywheel action i might be able to rig up a belt around that oops or something, maybe a gearing. I don't know. I still want to get that stepper motor going, but what can you do, right? That is a nice circuit. The reason that this was hitting is because it warped the, um, the opto disc. I left it out here and it warped. PLA plastic, if it gets too hot in the garage, Nice and quiet now. And that's nowhere near as fast as it can go. I haven't really tuned it. I just kind of winged it. I put the um, I put the disc on and I kind of did it the way I thought it would work. Some nice output. No flying magnets. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I mean, stay tuned. So I don't know if a difference in the coil size would increase the torque. It seems like it would. Again, these are flashing for you, but they are solid for me. And these are my big coils for my redesigned 3DP Newman motor. That thing's got a lot of torque. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Let me put that guy back together. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that Newman motor, that redesigned 3DP built. And I got the plans off of this store and built it. That thing has a lot of torque. Those are some beautiful coils, man. Yee. All right, let me let me think about that. Let me see if I yeah I have all the parts, the magnets, everything that I need. So let me think about that. Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao. Really quick, I don't know if I showed you guys this toy. This thing is wicked, and it's using the maglev the way I used to do it, with the three magnets on either side. But this one's so good you can hold it upside down. And let's see. Uh, I, think, I think it has to go the other way. Oh, wait a minute. Come on. I don't think this light is strong enough. I may be sending it the wrong way, too. Let me see if I can get a brighter light and get it on there. Stay tuned. There it goes. Well, it does go really good when you get a really bright light. I'm using my overhead. It's not really that good. But it's a nice little toy. Anyway, I thought I'd just throw that in there. Thanks for watching. I forgot you have to point the light at it in a certain direction. It's really weird. But yeah, now it's going. Wish I had a bigger flashlight. I don't have one. It's the only thing I don't have. I've got all kinds of lanterns and stuff, but no powerful flashlights Whoop. off to amazon but that's a cool toy anyway ciao